Are you are you keeping up with the with the Dolph case? Oh, it's a lot of information coming out. Nah, Even nah, one nah, of the nah, shooters. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't keeping up with it. I ain't no lie. Nah, I ain't keeping up with it. I yeah, just, one I of the shooters. It done came out. Big Juke had a hundred, but the streets already been saying that. The streets already knew it. That's why Big Juke did. Mm. And he get in front of his mama. The shooter said he only got eight hundred dollars. Uh, that's why Woody tell him. Woody was shooting and wasn't getting no money. <laughs> Real shit. Woody was shooting and wasn't. That's why Woody tell it, nigga. Hell is you talking about? The shooter don't never get no money. That shooter, the shooter always got the court appointed lawyer. The shooter always get the hand me down, Jordan. Man, nigga, don't nobody give a damn about the shooter but his mama. So, homie, man, that's why I hope a broke don't kill me. Man, all that a nigga did for the community and for the people, a nigga knock him off and can't replace him. Man, a nigga, a nigga ain't got a thousand dollars go kill him and can't even replace him. Man. The shooter said that he never met Dolph. He said that they never had any beef. He needed the money to fund his his perk addiction, his, his drug addiction, his oh, perk addiction. Oh, he got a dope thing. Yeah, he was a he's a junkie. This is the snitch. The other guy who who helped him, he used to know Dolph. He used to want to be a part of PRE. They got into it, but this guy who's snitching is a junkie. So they went and got a who got some hate in his heart for Dolph to a who got it. Who ain't got nothing in his heart for nobody. He a dope fiend. Yeah, he just wanted the fun. His kid died, I think, during COVID. Did you hear what I said? It, a nigga ain't got nothing in his heart. A junkie, a nigga ain't got nothing in his heart, nigga. A junkie ain't got nothing in his heart, nigga. He don't care about nothing but the junk. Whatever he putting in his, no. But the other nigga got hate in his heart. I used to want to be. Mm-hmm. That's why I watched them whole ass nigga like Barry White. Used to want to be with a nigga. Want to be like a nigga. I'm your twin. I'm your brother. I'm your brother. And then switch up and jump. That's why you got to watch them Barry White kind of nigga. Or go get with another crew. You got to watch them Woody kind of niggas, my nigga. He was talking about killing Thug. And he was killing for Thug. You got to watch them kind of nigga. Because they want to be like you. They want to get what you get. And nigga, that envy and that jealousy, nigga. What made Cain kill Abel? Envy and jealousy, my nigga. So they called Juke after they did, after they seen the hit. They said they spotted, they said they knew Dolph was in Memphis that weekend because he was going to do the turkey drive. So they were either going to catch him at the turkey drive or anybody in PRE was on this hit. So Key Glock, any, any other the PRE guys were on this hit. So they seen Dolph. They did what they had to do, and then they called Juk right after, and Juk was like, I'll get with y'all later. Never paid him. Sent, him. sent him a letter with $500, I think. Oh, Juk was a rotten motherfucker. Shit. Man, he was a rotten motherfucker. So them niggas hadn't even talked to Juk before. They just heard it was a $100,000 hit. No, they talked to him on the phone on FaceTime a few times through, the, through a middleman, and I think they met him one or one or two times but yeah they they called him right after that facetimed him let him know that that, that was their work they met him a few times talked to him and then he ghosted him like that yep ghost him he said um he he said it was too hot right now he said it's too hot i'll pay you when it calm, when it cool down never paid him and i think somebody he wrote him a letter with five hundred dollars and put it in his mailbox Man, Big Juke wrong in a motherfucker. Man. Big Juke wrong yep. in a motherfucker. So, uh, and Dolph was shot twenty times. For a hundred thousand dollars. Yep. And really, each shooter was going to get forty thousand, and then the middleman they was each going to give him twenty thousand. So that's a hundred thousand.
The middleman get 20,000, 40, 40. Yep. I only got $800, man. And this is, Dolph was a guy who had a lot of real estate. He paid a lot of people's bills. He looked out for a lot of children. Every holiday he man, gave back to what, the city what, of Memphis. What, what was the beef with him and Juke? Why Juke want him dead? I think, um, man, a lot. I think they wanted to sign him in the beginning. I think I think Gotti and Juke wanted to sign him in the beginning. And then I think um, it was times where Juke would be fronted by Dolph. I think it was just jealousy and hatred. I think embarrassment. I think the disc records that he put out about Juke fronting him money, front fronting Juk money when when Gotti wouldn't. It was just it was just, it was it was it was hatred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, I wish I would have got hit before they took Dolph, man. Uh yeah, the backstory to the to the guy is remarkable and, and incredible. Uh yeah, the spirit that he left behind, man. Uh yeah, making niggas sad to hear that. Yeah, 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 that that yeah, that make a nigga visibly sad just to hear that. Man, nigga put a hundred thousand on a nigga just cause he hate a nigga. Nigga ain't done nothing mm. to a nigga. I ain't caused nigga no harm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's why I move how I move. That's why I, when I see something in a nigga, I get away from a nigga, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. If I, when I, yeah, that's why I'm, yeah, nah. When I see something in a nigga, I get away from a nigga, homie. Yeah. I don't care who it is. And it's just dealing with dudes who are in survival mode, man. It's like, it's dangerous because people would do whatever for money. Oh, uh, well, you, you used to tell me, man, why you go to these places? Uh, I, I didn't understand, homie. Uh, to, to, to some niggas tried to rob me for my jewelry. I, I, I didn't cooperate. But, uh, yeah, nah, homie. Uh, yeah, homie, just making yourself ex accessible to these type of niggas. For these niggas to even have access to you and, and at you. Homie, uh, you supposed to make it hard. Yeah, so my nigga tell me all the time, man, don't make it easy for these niggas to get you. Yeah, don't make it easy for them, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Make him at least have to work. Uh, Dolph didn't make him work, cause in his mind, nigga, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me. I'm the king of Memphis on his mind, uh, and, and that's what probably left him so vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, driving a car that everybody knows the camouflage vet, like no security. His brother did shoot back though; they both got shot. But shit, they kept nigga. He shot back afterwards now you gotta afterwards so, so what so what ended up happening a nigga sitting in the car on that phone nigga sitting no in he the got car out phone, he walked got the strap he walked, right there to the side nigga ain't on guard most niggas ain't on guard most nigga with the strap is not on guard they distracted so the they they reaction is not gonna be a response nigga, it, ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be a proper response because most nigga bullshitting for somehow most niggas not on guard. Uh, man, it's hard to be on guard and, and tactical. Nigga, just on your own when you done got to this level, my nigga. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, get yeah. It. Shit, I mean, shit, a lot has happened. We haven't done an interview in, in, in a little over a month. It's been a well, month. Well, yeah, Damn. since we did the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but since then, I mean, we lost B King, we lost Rich Homie Quan, um, uh, Pee Wee what Longway lesson, got what caught. Lesson, what what lesson we learning as we losing these niggas? Uh, health. These That's niggas one. ain't healthy. Yeah, he was a big he was a big fella. Yeah, yeah, he was a big fella. Uh, but shit, nigga, uh, nigga died doing what he loved to do. He was on stage. Mm. Yeah, and then collapsed on stage, right? Uh, no, that was that was the that was the MC. I think, I think B King collapsed at a radio station. Okay. Yep, doing the interview, I think, okay. in Houston. Uh, and Rich Homie died of overdose. Over at a, on a yep overdose. He died what he wanted to do, doing what he loved to do, getting high. Mm -hmm. So you should nobody be sad. Mm. Man, if, if if you know I do drugs. And y'all find me somewhere dead off the drugs that I like doing. Who should be sad? Nigga died doing what he want to do. Who don't want to die doing what they love to do? I don't give a damn what it is, nigga. Nigga like getting high. If you die getting high, who should be sad? Nobody. Nigga, you died happy.
and you died doing what you love to do. Let's celebrate this death. Boy, my nigga was over there getting out. Yeah, no, man, it shouldn't be sad. Oh, my goodness, he, had a, he got the wrong kind of pill. He been taking these bad pills. Been popping these in the songs 10 years ago. He told you he likes Zans, Perks, and Sir. It's been in the music 10 years ago. Why niggas sad and surprised? And we all sneaking and getting high off something. We all sneaking and getting high off something, y'all. So if a nigga get hard to it explode, man, shit, nigga died for well, she might have set him up. So, nigga, he died for him. That's what he liked to do. So you got to put things into a proper perspective if you want to understand life. Nigga, life ain't as sad because a motherfucker, motherfucker done died. Tragic, tragic. Motherfucker getting killed. That wasn't sad. Motherfucker getting tragically murdered. That's sad. But a motherfucker just dying of, of, of a health condition or, or, or drugs or, or motherfucker driving drunk and die in a, in a drunk driving accident but don't kill nobody. I only kill they self. Man, my nigga love driving drunk. Fuck, I'm going to be sad because he died driving drunk. Mm. Thinking it could, what could have been done different. Eventually something had to happen. He, didn't, he wasn't going to stop. He like it. Mm. So if you ever find me in, yeah, man, nigga, man, he got killed at the strip club. He shouldn't have been going to the strip club. Y'all better not be saying that. Y'all better be saying, man, that nigga love going to the strip club. He died in the strip club. That's where he wants to die. Nigga don't want to die mm -hmm. in no hospital. Do you think it's, what's the best way to get somebody to, to get off the, 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 their addiction? You can't. Uh, everybody know in AA and NA. Uh, nigga, you first have to admit that you have a problem. That's the first step to getting off. Uh, nigga, the first step to that is being tired of going through this shit. You got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired before you can get off something. And, 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 and why you want somebody to get off something? Only to get on something else. So once you stop doing this, you got to stop doing this. You got to stop doing this. So why you just don't pick wisely? Why, why we want somebody to get off drugs and they like doing drugs? Why? Mm. They like doing it. You do what you like doing, don't you? Let right. them do what they like doing. Do you give homeless people money, like junkies money? Uh, yeah. To get more high? Yeah. <laughs> If a nigga standing on the corner saying, I need, say, nigga, what you go buy with this for real? Some food or some beer or some drink? If he say some food, I ain't gonna give it to him. I give, nah, I always give him food. I always give him money I for food. I wanna help you get high, nigga. Fuck that food. The food don't get you through life, my nigga. Nigga, this son, is listen, dude, listen. keep you. Uh, I might, I may still eat this food and be suicidal or homicidal. I need something to alter my mind in the conditions in the state that I'm in. I need a mind-altering substance. That's why I'm out here. That's why I'm on here. I don't give a damn about eating. Nigga, I eat out the trash can. But, nigga, most people out there are trying to find a substance, not food. Give them some food and look how disappointed they are. Yeah. Oh, my. Yo, man. Man, listen, my I, nigga. I just <laughs> need to get through this day. And this little bit of bro, this little bit of whatever I'm doing helps me get through this day where I don't hurt myself and I don't hurt other people. Yo, I was just in New Orleans and I gave this guy some bananas. That's, that's what we had left in the car. He still wanted money. <laughs> I'm going to eat this later after I get high. I need to get through this day, sir. Real shit. I need to alter this mind. I'm going to eat this after I get high. Appreciate you. But, nigga, do you got a few dollars to give me? Because the drugs I use, my nigga. I can take three dollars to the to the to the to the man. Between the fentanyl nigga, the crack nigga, the pill man, man, you getting high for five dollars now, long high, an extreme high. They smoking fentanyl, I heard, and you can get fentanyl or fentanyl smoke for three to five dollars. So now, mm. my nigga, uh, most folks just need to cope for the day. They worry about tomorrow when tomorrow come. But most folks who struggling don't give a damn about tomorrow. Nigga, I need to get through the day. What do you remember the last time you didn't smoke weed for a full day? Uh yeah, they uh I I, I violated my bond condition. 
like like two months ago, in June, July, June, I think it was July, I, I pissed dirty on my bond condition. Uh, August 1st, August something, nigga, they locked my motherfucking ass up mm. and, and gave me a murder bond. They hit me with a $90,000 bond. For oh, my weed. God. So, shit, nigga, uh, yeah, I went 30 days without smoking weed. Did you have any withdrawals? Hell yeah, like a motherfucker. I was waking up <laughs> out of my sleep. Uh, I was waking up out of my sleep, uh, panicking, having anxiety attacks, thinking I done fucked up because I was smoking weed in my dream. Mm. Uh, so I had to go see a doctor. Uh, I had to go see a, 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 a psychiatrist. And uh, the psychiatrist gave me a prescription for marijuana. So I got my Texas medical marijuana card. Uh, and I got a prescription from a psychiatrist uh, to smoke marijuana four times a day. So is it safe to say you're addicted to weed? Oh uh, yeah. Ain't you addicted to pussy and money? Yeah. And I'm addicted to weed. <laughs> yeah, we all have. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Is this a lot of people won't admit that? Uh, they can't stop. Tell them stop, and see if they're addicted, and see what happened while they're trying to stop. See what happened while they tried to stop. I did not feel better when I stopped. Mm. I did not feel better. I felt normal. But nigga, I didn't feel good. Uh, I mean, the weed is a na- weed is a herb, so it's natural. It's from the earth. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. You think, do you, you think it's a drug drug, or do you look nah, at it as drug, like- It's a drug drug now. The way it's being grown and, and, and manufactured, the seeds being crossed, this shit is a drug now, nigga. This is not the weed God intended for a nigga to be smoking. This man's weed. <laughs> this ain't the weed God got growing out the ground. The herb, the bird seed. Nigga, this is man-made shit that take a nigga up there with God. God don't want you up there with him. This weed here got a nigga can hear God whisper. <laughs> Dude. Do you smoke what do you smoke Reggie or do you like rapper weed? Ain't no more Reggie, nigga. Man, who man? What where nigga? It is it's Reggie out there. Where? Old heads like Reggie. Where you must be getting it from the gas station. I mean, it's it's still out there. You can still get man, Reggie no, in the hood. No hood. nigga, no nigga that make a thousand dollars or more know where to get some Reggie. The Reggie is for high school kids. No, homie, because because the cannabis industry industry have evolved so so much. Man, ain't nobody getting no Reggie, homie. Nah, I think I think your stature and your celebrity makes it to where you'll never get near Reggie Weed. But there is a, and I don't smoke at all, so maybe I'm ignorant to it. But there is there <laughs> there is <laughs> there is there is this stereotype to where old heads prefer Reggie over rapper. There's weed. no more Reggie. Nobody's growing regular weed because of the THC levels are so high, Muhammad. Even the even the hemp. In, 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 in the CBD. So when motherfuckers saying Reggie, that mean they getting CBD hemp. But nobody's growing, nobody's growing the Mexican dirt Reggie weed no more. Nobody. Mm. That's gonna have a bunch of seeds in it. Reggie is gonna be filled with seeds. When you smoke them joints and them blunts, it's gonna be popping with them seeds. That weed is not being seen as nowhere. So they getting mm. the CBD hemp, they got low THC levels, low turpentines, the turpentines, whatever that shit is, and it's just giving you a, a slight calming body high. That's what they call it, Reggie. Yeah, the old niggas like that. Man, the old niggas don't want to go to Pluto like future. <laughs> man, nigga don't want to be so motherfucking high with them backwood, man. Nigga be stupid high there looking. Now, how them they be looking in the club with them blunts? You, man, nigga, they be looking stupid. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Last night I was dying so hard, man. It's this video of you that keeps going viral every six months. So you at this concert, future concert, and you're in the crowd with the people. What, what video? Do you know which video I'm talking about? Now, I remember going to the future concert. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. This- yeah. Yo, it go. It literally goes viral probably every six months, man. And you having a time of your oh, life, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, nigga, def- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the front row with the Future Country. That's when he brought ESTG to American Airlines. Yeah, I know exactly what you're and talking about. And they say they say Charles is a goat because he talks so much shit and he still be out there with the people partying, going crazy, living his life. And you're having a time of your life, man, and I, you're knowing the and, words. Hey, listen, this is what I keep reminding everybody. That's the difference between me and Woody. 
Would he have to move with this caution? Because he's hurt people. I don't. I can I can look like a fool because people say, man, that nigga, people think I'm supposed to have security. And I keep telling people, I've only said things. I haven't done things. That's the difference. Yeah, but but you hurt a lot of people with your words, though. But 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 homie, it only hurt for that moment. By the time you see me, those words still don't hurt. But how you, but how are you gonna tell somebody how to feel? Because I know life. I know the way I make you feel today. Somebody else in your circle have made you feel twice as worse by the time you see me. That now that's true. Or you've made somebody feel twice as worse than I made you feel. So by the time you see me, you're unprepared and you're unmotivated to want to do something to me. But but you don't believe in verbal abuse? Oh uh, yeah, nigga, I verbal abuse my women. Yeah, I believe in verbal abuse. Yeah, that's the best way to deal with a woman without putting your hands on. Yeah, verbally abusive. And it works well. And 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 yeah, yeah, it works well. <laughs> you uh, full of shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, it works well. Charleston full of shit, man. Man, you can't put your hands on these women no more. But you said, shut up, old dumb ass hoe, bitch. Now, your mama was a drunk, bitch. Shit, fuck you. Oh, your brother was a, getting fucked in prison. Nigga wasn't no, call him anyway. He ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, you can verbally abuse these hoes, nigga. <laughs> and yeah, just know what to say afterwards. What, what do you say afterwards? Just know how to apologize. But after you apologize so many times, is this whatever? Man, apology and good fucking don't never play out. <laughs> apology and both of y'all calm afterwards, that ain't never played out, especially if you're not physically abusing. Now, if you mm. black in the eye and leaving knots on her head, that, yeah, ain't no, yeah, yeah, that only worked for about 10 years. Uh, mm. But but if, you, if all y'all doing is arguing and saying mean things and hurtful things when y'all get mad, uh, y'all fuck and make up, and just repeat this shit. That's it. Yeah. The Diddy case. Uh, he's been arrested. Um, he tried to put up fifty million dollars bond, rejected. Um, they say he's in a suicidal uh, part of the the prison or jail or whatever. Um, but we've been talking about this. You've been calling the parties out. You've been speaking about the white the white parties and 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 how you wouldn't. Because this is book that came out of his wife, Kim Porter. She released a book, allegedly. And she says how he had to do certain things to stay on a certain level. And when she, when I read that, it reminded me of how you said you, want, you don't even want more than $5 million. Uh, every major person you know have been to his party. Uh, they're starting to release photos of, 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 of Aaliyah was at the party. LeBron, With Kobe. Uh, homie, why you think ain't nobody saying nothing? They're not bashing him. Uh, they're not unfollowing him. They not nothing. Man, they would delete my videos off their platform. Think about that, nigga. They would delete my <laughs> videos off their platform. Nigga, they won't. Yep. They won't even invite me. Where he talk about raping people, homie? These allegations have always been there. So how they trying to, homie, they've been ignoring this, turning the blinds out forever. That's why I came attacking the industry, the culture, the community. And nigga, push back. And nigga, everything out of the, man, it's, man, it's been five years and it unfolded. And it's still no pushback. It's still no motherfucking pushback against Puffy. None, homie. Uh, even when Charlemagne got him on the Breakfast Club and asked him about the video, when he said, "I love how you be scrambling and scraping it," man, he didn't yeah. give him no real pushback, homie. Nigga, even when Cassie came out, nigga, wasn't nobody at first. Nigga, they were still rocking with Puffy. So think about Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton, uh, Barack Obama. Nigga, remember Puffy was with them with the Rock the Vote. All of this have always has hovered over Puffy's head as a dark cloud. And they know this to be true. But nigga, they turned a the blind's eye. Homie Puffy got some pictures. Man, with Donald Trump, Russell Simmons from way back when he was a young, young pup. Man, the white boy always find them a good nigga. Like Puffy. 
it's a nigga around here like named Jim Shaw. They use them kind of niggas to find them niggas out of our culture in the industry to go recruit the niggas and the girls that's down with the freaking. Everybody was down with the freaking. Puffy just the fall guy. Nigga, you know how many people shaking in their boots that's on them tape? It's no different than, 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 the, than Jeffrey Epstein's island list. Homie Chris Tucker name on there. There's a bunch of people name on there. But isn't it ironic that they give us all the details about Puffy and then give us no details about Jeffrey Epstein? So, homie, uh, I just want to remind people, as, 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 as humble and, and as meek and, and, and righteous as you think your favorite celebrity is, uh, they exist in an evil world. And, and, and for them to maintain in that world, they have to be okay with evil things. Whether that's T.I. or uh, man, you have to be okay with e evil things because you don't get this high. Religious people have always said that 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 evil things and 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 and, and evil high power of principalities exist in high places. Evil exists in high places, homie. How how do you think he could do that for so long? And now you got videos of later of him coming out saying, "Man, they're gonna have, they might arrest me for these kind of motherfucking parties." Because most evil things is in plain sight. We just don't know what to look for. But I'm going to say this. He ain't been accused of fucking no babies. So fuck what he did to them people. Because I know it was all, it wasn't a freak off. It was a big orgy that they was having. And how you going to fault me because I'm a rich nigga and I got these hoes coming in from Texas and they going to come to New York and they go. But yeah, them hoes want some money for me to. How you go hit me with sex trafficking, uh, sex work, man? D, I'm getting these hoes something for that pussy. These ain't prostitutes. It's a fur exchange. I'm a rich man. Every pussy I get, I got to fly in from another state, and be willing to give them some. Man, this the part of the rich, rich and famous life. How y'all criminalizing this shit? So he taking a fall for something. Do you expect to see CEOs and execs in these tapes that may come out or documents that more documents that may come out? Uh everybody in on it, my nigga. Jay's everybody in on it. You think all these people, we've been hearing all this stuff for all these years about the Illuminati, the parties, the producers cap, what you gotta do to do this. You think, you think they gonna give us everybody names? They're going to give us some Fall Guy names so they can keep going. It's still going right now. It was a party this weekend that was like Diddy Party. We just don't know it. You think when Michael Rubin and them had them motherfucking party and it's a seven-day or three-day party and all the who's who elite, they drinking, they getting, you think those sexual desires and urges ain't coming out at those parties with Michael Rubin? <coughs> Robert Kraft was found in a in a in a massage parlor when he freed Meek Mill from the NFL. You think he ain't run that dick or letting Meek run that dick through him? Meek says he'll offer anybody. Meek doing everything to, to try to disassociate himself because a hundred thousand to investigate the case. That sounds like a guilty nigga. That sounds like a guilty nigga, homie. I'm gonna pay a hundred thousand. So man, I ain't finna pay a mother. If I ain't done nothing, why would I do that? And I ain't on none of the tapes. Maybe because it's hurting his brand. He's coming out with new music, and people are still talking about him wearing the same matching pajamas and shit like that. And that it's hurting his like brand. A nigga. Man, it's a whole bunch of people that said things about me, and they lied, and I won't even address them. I don't even address them. I keep moving like they ain't said it. I'm not paying no hundred thousand dollars to prove I ain't did nothing. No private investigator. Who they go investigate? Who? When the FBI got all the evidence. Who? Do you think two men 
matching like that is suspect? Like a motherfucker. <laughs> gay in the bitch. You're gay in the motherfucker. Hey, yo. Ain't, that ain't just suspect. They're gay in the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, them niggas spoon at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two niggas doing that <laughs> spoon at night. <laughs> but yeah, man, it, it, it's it, it's crazy. Uh, just reading the book, the audio book came out recently. The kids claim it's not true, um, but this is a book that she wrote before she mysteriously passed away from pneumonia. Um, and she's real detailed. She names a lot of celebrities in there. Crazy names that I don't want to say because allegedly, you know, whatever. But, uh, name yeah, one. she, na <coughs> huh? Name one celebrity. Uh, Will Smith. We all know he liked that dick. He played in that movie with that white boy, uh, Six Degrees of Separate. We all know, nigga. Mm. Yeah, we all know. Homie. But listen, my nigga, even Pac was saying it. There's some videos of even Pac saying it. Man, this nigga done got that money listed. So, homie, uh. Yeah, Pac is in there, but Pac was in there for saying no, he didn't want to do a threesome with with uh, Kim Porter. Because Diddy was trying to see, Diddy was challenging Pac to have a threesome to see whose dick she would like more, allegedly. And Pac was like, nigga, hell no, I'm going home. This shit's strange. Then a mother, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah man. Oh. Uh, these are black celebrities, homie, but we already know they all do it, homie. All the men, this is, homie, uh, man, nigga, we ain't got no business entertaining that shit. Uh, cause nigga, I'm getting the kind of money where I'm finna start be having hoes come this way and come that way, and I'm gonna have to fly them in and give them some money for some of that pussy. <laughs> and I don't need you to be criminalized. Uh, some kind of way. Uh, man, it ain't wrong for a nigga to pay a hoe to free. Nigga, it ain't wrong for flying no hoe to sell pussy out of out of goddamn me Indianapolis, Indiana, and fly to buck fuck Mississippi so we can fuck for the weekend. They ain't breaking no motherfucking law, and they trying hmm. to make this shit what players do, uh, law breaking. Man, that's just what players do. So, what is the baby oil? What does that what What does that stand for? Where so does that come in? You know, at? them niggas want to all their bodies up and slip and slide when they f***ing slippery sex is yeah, like sweaty sex. A, th a thousand bottles? Man, we f***ing a thousand hoes a year. Hell yeah, that nigga, when you f***ing, when you got this kind of money. Man, you, you know, you can't imagine how much f***ing niggas doing, my nigga. And we got all the people that like to f***. And we got all the kind of drugs to make you pass than you can normally f***. Hmm. We doing all the kind of drugs that damn near make a nigga f for 72 hours straight. And then not only that, they said that nigga had the IV replenishing clinics set up for when you done drain yourself from common and fucking and peeing, you get the IV <laughs> fluid pumped right back in you and bring you back to life and go right back. Man, that's even heaven or hell. We just don't know where ain't never been there, Sean. <laughs> that got to be heaven or hell, one of the two. For a nigga we live in between. Hmm. So our minds can't fathom what a nigga can do with a thousand baby all. You ain't never f for 72 hours straight. And you can and your dick hard the whole time. And all you need is just some water and a little rest. And and you back f two hours down the road. Yeah, we live in the middle, my nigga, so we can't imagine. Gene Dale, his uh, security guard came out saying that, well, this was a few months back, but him and Ja Rule were in the room together with robes on. Say what? Him and Ja Rule was in the room together with robes on. Diddy and Ja Rule allegedly. They were f That what Gene said? Man, yeah, that's listen, what the security guard Gene, Gene, Gene done snuck and got him some too. He ain't witnessed and saw all that, nigga, and ain't partaked and participated. They ain't gonna keep you around. Mm. They ain't gonna keep a nigga around to see all the secrets, nigga, and you ain't in on the secrets. We need some assurance, nigga. We need some assurance. Nigga, get on in here, Gene. Gene, you see you, Big Gene, coming out too? That's how he know everything. He ain't just a fly on the wall just to be a fly on the wall, nigga. How you get to be a fly on the wall, Gene? How? To get to see all you done seen and you stay quiet all this time. How you get to be a fly on the wall is what I want to know. Same with, like, I had Wack 100 one time. Who keep telling you all the gay secrets, nigga? 
Mm. How you getting all the gay secrets? Who trusting you and entrusting you with the gay vault? So now, mm. man, you got to question the nigga to say they done seen. How you get to see that kind of shit, nigga? And they know him and keep it discreet. But probably he was playing dumb like he didn't act. Man, he was probably acting like he didn't see. You, you done seen too much to know you ain't seen to play dumb. During the hiring phase, you think these punk, I mean, these people don't know what to look for in a man to trust a straight man around. Mm. I'm playing straight before the world. But in secret, my bodyguard know I'm a Fruit Loop. <laughs> so I'm supposed to trust this bodyguard. And I fired him 20 years ago. Mm. Unless the bodyguard is in with what I'm in with, he don't get to see nothing. So, nah, man, I think everybody who saw something Saw something because they was a part of something. That's how they was able to see something. Mm. You don't think anybody's innocent that's been around in pictures. Um, even um, Tyree said that he went to Diddy parties, but he never went to the after, after, after party. It's people that went to Diddy parties, but never went to the after, after, after party. Two pair of funky lips will say anything. Oh. Uh, well, they know what's at the after, 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 after party. You never heard nobody speak on nothing. Why have they been silent for so long? It's a lot of it's a lot of hearsay about what goes on. That's what I'm saying. It's been hearsay. Why did it take the FBI, the government, to come in and say, man, we know he's been doing this. Here's what we got. When there's been hearsay about it all this time and all these years. He's been, he's been, he's been shielded by them, homie. They never shied away from him. They know he's been beating up Kim Porter. They know he's been torturing Cassie. They know he's been doing this shit. So why nobody ever shied away from him? Because he's fucking all the CEOs that's keeping the good, great relationships. Man, somebody wrote a book. I All these it. CEOs are going to his parties. That's how he's keeping the leverage. How you know, nigga? I read the book. Oh, okay. I'm about to say shit. You talking <laughs> with some specifics. Nigga, how you done told you this shit? Yeah, you know. Allegedly, that. allegedly. Oh, okay, shit. Uh, it sounds about right. But he f the CEO and he also f an artist. The other celebrity. You're not getting invited to the party. Remember, they say you got to tell him no. You got to tell Diddy no, remember? So yep. Tyree said, I'm not going to the after party, after party, after party. Uh, man, they all been to the after party. You mean to tell me when you first became a star and didn't nobody know who you were and you were trying to get in, you didn't go to the party? You got to keep in mind, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Nobody have pushed back against this culture that Diddy's supposed to have created for us in the black entertainment world. There's been no pushback against him. When, when Jeffrey Epstein starts showing up in places, white people start saying, hey, man, what is that guy? Who is he? What do he do? How did he become rich? Man, they started giving a pushback. There was never no pushback against Diddy, even with all the rumors of him killing Tupac. So I don't think Diddy just got something on the executive. He got something on everybody. I think Diddy done fucked everybody. Literally. Mm. I think he done fucked everybody. 20, I think over 20 CEOs have stepped down. Kevin Lyles from 300. The Nike CEO stepped down. The feds, you feel like the that's feds a red, know what they got. You feel like that's a red flag? Yep. Yeah, the feds or, is this know what a they got. or is this a coincidence? Uh, I don't believe in coincidences. Y'all don't believe in coincidences. Yeah, mm. no, I don't believe in coincidences. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you, what, like, what's your prediction on what's gonna happen? Uh, I think I think they're they're going after his assets. Yeah, I think they're going out after his assets. Uh, 
it's kind of hard to predict what's going to happen, homie. Uh, another black man go to jail. And this, okay, so do you think this is the end of the celebrity? Do you feel like celebrities are, aren't what they used to be? People are going to realize what goes on. Do you feel like how uh, people... Go ahead. How we praise celebrities and, and how, how you used to say rappers aren't what well, rappers aren't what they used to be. We don't care about rappers. Do you feel like that those these are the last days of us caring about the celebrities? Oh no. Oh no. If 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 that was the case, we wouldn't be talking about it. We would be dismissing uh what what has happened. But Nothing's gonna change, my nigga. Uh, n nothing's gonna change. Uh, I think Puffy stays solid. Don't tell on nobody. Uh, go do his time and come back and still be the man. I don't. I don't think. I don't think you can go live a billionaire lifestyle, you have your own private jets, have mansions in three, four cities, and and you do your time. You're going to do what it takes to get out of there. Bernie Madoff did. And he was an old white man. Bernie Madoff did. Didn't tell nothing. Didn't get nobody up. Uh... I don't think the federal government wants anybody else. I think this is this is this is an order. I think this is a, 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 a they answering the call that's been made. I don't think the FBI wants anybody else. They're just answering the call, and the people who decide to answer the call. Uh, careers would be furthered off off the publicity, off handling this case, off the conviction of this case. But I don't think they want anything else. They don't want to uncover and discover what was really going on. They didn't want him to pay for what he did. And what he did is what, what he did to these people sexually. Is what he did to them people with their liquor company. Yeah, this him bucking them people from that liquor company. This ain't got nothing to do with what he was doing with his dick with these other hip hop niggas. This is what he did with them liquor company people. They just using this to get that nigga. And they targeted his assets. That's why they trying to make it like he was using this to, to he was using this and, and was making finances off of it. So they trying to tie his 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 sexual desires and his sexual parties to his business and his enterprise so they can take from him. This got to do with that liquor shit, man. This ain't got nothing to do with him fucking hoe. They just want us to believe that. And we dumb enough to believe it. This ain't got nothing to do with him with baby oil. A thousand bottles of baby oil. How that's illegal? Hmm. How? When no underage girl, nobody have accused him of this. They charging him damn thing with the damn near with the same thing they charge R. Kelly with racketeering. Where man, why well, nigga? I'm. Hmm. You still listen to R. Kelly? Hell yeah. Hmm. Uh, so I'm smart enough to know this is bigger and deeper than what they're showing us and what they're telling us. This ain't got nothing to do with what he was doing sexually for the last 20, 30 years in the hip-hop community. As if they really care. So this ain't got nothing to do with that. Side note, I think I think we all still listen to R. Kelly. Man, uh, shit, we still, yeah, hell yeah, we do. Hell yeah, yeah, I don't do. think nobody stopped listening to R. Kelly. Why would we stop? The, the, yeah, yeah, R. Kelly didn't do that. Robert Kelly did. <laughs> <laughs> you crack me up with these two. Yeah. These we, ain't, we don't write Robert. Then he's talking about we don't give a damn about Robert. <laughs> uh, are are you hip to what's going on with the Marcellus Williams situation? Nah, Marcellus Williams. 
Yeah, he got executed yesterday. I thought that was something that you would you would yeah, you'd I don't be on. Yeah, I don't give a damn about no nigga getting killed by the, by the I hands mean, of the uh, but, de- but he was he was sister. he was innocent though. How you know? I mean, the prosecutors they wanted to stop the execution. Um, the parent, the victim's family, they wanted to stop the execution, and they still did it anyway. Yeah. This was in Missouri, by the way. Yeah. So yeah, they waited too long. Yeah, I, don't, I ain't never heard of them. Yeah, it's it's I, it's, it's it's big. Yeah, this, poor, this, people, this, poor this, people must just know about it. Rich people ain't well, mentioning a word about it. Well, well, the fans wanted me to ask you because this is the type of stuff that the Tamir Rice and I, all I've these never, different I, I've things. Ne- I've never, I've never been involved in anything having to do with the adult black male being unjustly done anything. It's always been about children. So why would I care mm. about a grown mother on death row? I'm with, mm. the, I'm with the kill him. But if he was a kid. On death row, he got sentenced when he was 17, 18. Then I would. But nigga, I don't give a damn about no grown nigga being wrongfully accused or something in his 20s and 30s and going. I've made that clear to everybody. It's only been about children. You don't think that's fucked up, though, that uh, it, that you could be innocent and still be put to death? You done and the wrong. D, your DNA is not even at the scene. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know no innocent niggas in jail. Every nigga I know in jail is supposed to be there and should be there. No, I get what you're saying, but I feel like with DNA now, the 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 technology is new technology. There's a lot of innocent people that in the 80s and 90s and 70s, the, the technology wasn't. There was no way for you to tell. Now all these, it's a lot of people getting released from prison now because of the technology. Things that. Things that they done when they were kids, they were falsely accused of. They're getting released because of the new technology. So, give niggas in prison. <laughs> what about the kids out here who mama said in the food stamps and they don't get nothing to eat at nighttime, and they go grow up to be a killer? Ain't nobody trying to feed them before they start killing. What about the kids that get molested by their mama's boyfriend? Ain't nobody. So, nigga, I don't give a damn about. The nigga in prison. That's the intervention. So I stop intervention. Nigga, let's go with preventative measures. Let's try to prevent this nigga from going down this road. I'm sure that nigga did something to get him in the line fire of the police for them to just be able to pick up an innocent nigga. They ain't put no innocent nigga in jail who ain't never been arrested. They ain't never put no innocent nigga in jail who ain't never been arrested. They always go get a nigga with a shady background. So it's your shady background, the thing that you've done once before that make it easy for them to plant something on your supposed to be innocent ass. And not only that, nigga, you done done a lot of things that you've gotten away with. Criminals. Most criminals have gotten away with way more than what they've gotten caught for. Isn't that right, criminals? If Mm. we're being honest. So, so what, you innocent. And they done put you to death. Who knows what you done done, what you done got away with, nigga, where God allow you to go to dead. Innocent. So so you're telling me you've never been falsely accused of anything? Never. I'm lying. I'm being <laughs> falsely accused of this motherfucking mason that cat. But I did do a skit. I did do a skit that gave off the impression that I made the cat. So technically, no. Hmm. So technically, no, nah, I've never been accused because I gave off the impression that I was doing this. Um, hopefully you and Woody can get it figured out. Uh, no, nah, uh, nigga, I ain't got time. I ain't got time to go back and forth with no nigga. I ain't got time to go back and forth with no nigga that's easy, can be easy, persuaded by what people put in their ear. Uh, and then, nigga, I don't rock with a group. I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission, my nigga. Uh, he a group nigga. He got a neighborhood he from. I ain't from no neighborhood, so I don't have I don't ha- I don't have to be beholden to nothing, but my goals, my aspirations, and my children. You see, what I'm so yeah, yeah, nah, homie. Uh, I ain't got time. Uh, I much rather wait for Thug to come home because I'm fucking with Thug and his people and them. Yeah, got it. Uh, nigga could easy. It's too easy to show people how to do this than to struggle and go back and forward with somebody when it's already presented for us. 
You saying that like you sure thug coming home though? Uh, I know for a fact he was. Yeah, that case is all over the place. Yeah, I know for a fact he is. But this is what I'm saying. If I call you and say, say, my nigga, the networks want to meet with me and you, and I explain to you the details, and you get excited and say, yeah, nigga, make it happen. But when you come here, you dismiss the fact that this is why you're here. That means mentally, nigga, your mind ain't on this level. That's why the prosecution was having so much trouble. That nigga said, man, you left me at the airport. Nigga, I didn't leave you. You showed up with six niggas. And your, yeah, manager, and your manager came and got you so you so she can keep you with her. I didn't leave you, nigga, but I can't come get you and six niggas, my nigga. And you didn't tell. So in his mind, I left him. He said, nigga, I met you through her. And I'm saying, nigga, I didn't meet you through her, nigga. She was already managing you before I ever even met you, nigga. That's how I met you. It's through her. So, nigga, his mind ain't on the level of an elite nigga's mind, a, a, a high-functioning nigga. I'm a leader. I'm a nigga. I'm a bad motherfucker mentally in thought. He's still impulsive. That's, that's the undeveloped brain part, the slow growth, the mental retardation of the brain. Nigga, I move with thoughts, not with emotions. He quick to say, man, I'm on 10. Well, that's how you got in this situation, being on 10. You ain't learned no other kind of way not to be on 10. But now I notice you ain't hurting people. Now you got good sense. When it's looking like them people might lock you up from a bad perception, what you saying, man, I don't want to be presented in that image no more. You got good sense. But not business sense. And I'm trying to f with you with business sense. So, nigga, I would be a fool to turn back around and come back and try to connect with somebody that don't have business in. And the people around him don't have business sense. So, hell no, nigga. What do you have coming in the future? Oh, uh, I got a movie coming up, man. Uh, uh, I, I forgot what day the movie premiere is. Uh, it's in November. Uh... The movie that Trap Boy Fred is supposed to be in. Uh, wrong address. Now he ain't in the next movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's supposed to be on the soundtrack. Now he ain't on the soundtrack. None of that. Uh, but the movie gonna be big. So we got the movie premiere coming up. Uh, uh, I did my only porn scene. I, 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 I'm in the porn now. Uh, I did my first only fans porn scene with the fan bus. Uh, oh man! Yeah, it, it's it's y'all go check it out on, on the fan bus on the fan. So I did my first porn scene. Uh, y'all was just testing the water. <laughs> yeah, y'all was just testing the water. Uh, and still booked heavily, right? Still booked heavily. Yeah, man. Uh, nigga, I'm still doing the comedy shit like crazy. Uh, yeah, nigga, I'm a uh, Miami Improv coming up. Uh, yeah, nah, nigga, I'm still booked like crazy. Uh, just got back from Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, for a whole weekend booking, uh, for, for five figures, nigga, left with, uh, and shout out to Naptown, nigga, they got some bad little old bras, uh, yeah, they got some beautiful women out there, man, uh, in, in Indianapolis, uh, I got, I got, I got, I got two more movie scripts that's been, been offered and presented, uh, man, it, it, it's so much shit, it, it's just trying to, uh, now I need a vacation, cause now nigga working so much, uh, it, it's hard to uh, separate personal and work life now. Uh, wow, that's the first together. time I heard you say that. Huh? That's the first time I heard you say yeah, that. Yeah, nigga. Uh, mode. Yeah, it's hard to separate that shit, uh, cause cause the nigga on the road, uh, and, and and it's more of a, even though I'm doing things during the daytime, there's still a a nightlife aspect to 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 what I'm doing. So, uh, that nightlife entertainment, uh. Then nigga jump up and wake up early. Do you ever do you ever get tired of being spotted while you're out though? I know it's hard. You can't go to certain stores. You may want to go grab some some gas, or you may want to go grab yeah. a t-shirt. But you know you're gonna have to stop and give your energy yeah, to somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get tired of it now. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I get tired of. It. So what do you do? Do you send people in, or do you like? Can I'm gonna go? Do, I'm gonna go in. I send people in. Yeah. Yeah, or 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 I I, I say.
pocket that I go in and I still deal with it even though I'm tired of it. Uh, because mm. I say, nigga, uh, uh, you asked for this. Yeah, you asked for this, nigga. Then you make people day too when they see you. Man, you asked for this, so how you how how you gonna be mad because you done got what you asked for? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I appreciate I'm, it, I'm, man. Uh, I'm just now finding balance with this shit, money. Yeah, and, yeah. And I can even, tell you kind of, I can tell you kind of a little fatigue, like kind of like. Well, nigga, I just come off three days of. Uh, three days of a major weekend in, in, in Indianapolis. Prior to that, I had uh, two back-to-back -back days of 20 versus two with Woody. Uh, so I came back home, rested for one day, was back out for a three-day booking. Uh, and, 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 and I had a whole whole itinerary for the Indianapolis trip, man. Uh, and, and so then I come home and shit, man. Shit. Yeah, I'm still running at home. So uh, I, I ain't even came home. I, I got to rest last night. But shit, man, nigga on the go. So when I leave here, nigga, I'm going to head straight to another interview. Uh, My God, man. Yeah. At, until next time. Already, man. Shit, we out.